So I'm with Adam and Richard, and we're going to talk a bit about, Richard, the uh, work that you've done on the partnership between operations and health and safety. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Um, so, so look, when, um, when I came down, I had a, a vision in mind for, to, uh, to, to increase uh, and make the team better in all areas, but really how I did that, there was four work streams. One was safety and operational excellence, one was the, the people and competence, one was structure, and one was the future, because without all of those things aligned and, and progressing, you don't get anywhere, but the real foundation for everything that we've done in the last 12 to 14 months is that operational excellence um, combined with safety, um, and that's really putting <laughs> safety in, yeah. not, not policemen on site, should we say, but more they guide the construction staff, uh, staff to be safe in everything that they do, yep. uh, and that's really, really the basis of everything I do, uh, and I, I couldn't be proud of what Adam's actually done with his team and how he's got very, very close to the delivery managers, the project managers, and uh, Zach Zakaram and, um, and uh, James Peace as the senior project managers have really embraced their vision as well. So. I think um, I think you you would agree with what I've just said there. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, to, to kind of put a cherry on it, really, it's just the fact that the team now, if you go and talk to people uh, around how safety and operational are working together, it's one team, not two separate teams. And I suppose those that have got a bit of experience around this game will recognise that historically there has always always been a bit of a divide. But this is very much, I mean, every meeting we're in together, we share spaces together, we're on work sites together. Integrated. Um, Integrated, yeah. So yeah. I started out as an office manager, well, I started in payroll um, with Balfour Beatty 14 years ago, went to an office manager, um, and then became a safety leader. Um, I never thought health and safety would be something that I would end up in. Um, once I started doing the safety leader programme, it opened my eyes up to lots of opportunities around different courses, um, for example, investigation courses, uh, CDM training. Um, yeah, it just opened my eyes up into the world of health and safety.